Hi, I'm Jay Gribble, Vice President of International Programs at PRB. For more than 20 years, PRB has worked with doctoral students from developing countries to present their research in ways that help shape population and health policies and programs. PRB's mission is to inform, empower, and advance, and the Policy Fellows Program grows from that mission. I think the program helps develop future leaders in health and population by giving them the skills to present technical information to lay audiences. By training students today, we're helping shape future policies and programs that are evidence-based and that improve the well-being of nations, communities, and families. I hope this short video gives you an idea of what the program is about and what our former and present fellows have gained from the experience. Thanks. I'm from Malawi, but I'm studying at the University of Cape Town in South Africa. Um, my study is on declining marriages in post-apartheid South Africa. I'm from Uganda. I work in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Uh, my PhD is on fertility decision making and HIV among young people in Uganda. I'm Sada Khan uh, from the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health and my doctoral research is on maternal health in Pakistan. Policy communication research takes place when a person who is able to do research, good research, is also able to communicate it to policymakers. And that's why it's a thrill for those of us who work at PRB to see all of you here. You who are fellows, you who have been fellows, some of you I've met tonight who are going to be fellows. Start, and I, I, and I ask the people who've been fellows to please not tell the people who are incoming fellows that it's hard work. <laughs> don't, 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 don't tell them. Don't tell them. kind of uh, training that I got with the uh, PRB as a policy fellow was very effective in understanding the complex mechanisms involved in uh, policy making and the decision making. Communication is both an art and a science. So you learn the rules, but also you have to know yourself a little bit and adapt your communication uh, to your own uh, value and to your strengths. I also would encourage them to see this as broader than policy communication. Just think about this as communication. So the skills that they learn here are going to serve them well uh, in many walks of life. I've been oriented to do things that are of policy relevance. But sometimes in academia, the school environment appears to lay so much emphasis on the theory and the academic parts, and therefore lose the policy relevance. But I think that my participation in this program has re-emphasized the need to be policy sensitive in our research. I feel now that I've gained the skills to be able to do it better. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, I'm an expert yet, but I feel like I'm improving and I'm, I'm learning how to do it. It really is a, a total mind shift. It's from the way you write the research paper to the way you write the policy brief. But I think it's going to be amazing um, an amazing skill for me to use when I go back to Kenya and when I'm working with organizations that are also trying to do the same thing, trying to translate research findings into policy. Um, so I'm very grateful for the opportunity. 